we keep committing abortion. <laughs> God has got an embryo. Good Lord, have mercy. Down on the inside of you. God is birthing something way deep down in your spirit. And the problem is, every time he starts to change your life, you start to commit spiritual abortion. You start to kill the very purpose that's down on the inside of you. You start to murder your own new man. Good Lord, have mercy. When God starts the regeneration process on the inside of you, you get up and run out of the delivery room and don't even birth the baby that he's trying to bring out of you. Man, y'all better help me this morning. You start to commit abortion of your purpose, abortion of your new life, abortion of the new person that he's trying to turn you into. Oh, take your seats. Don't shout me down while I'm preaching good right here. Start to kill it before it could ever really get alive. Some of us are really, really afraid of what God is trying to turn us into. We're afraid of living a Christian life. We're afraid of being altered into something that maybe we don't understand into something that maybe we have to walk in a little faith in. We're afraid of God really touching us. We're afraid of God working through us the way he worked through other people. So we hide in the back and we duck. Boy, you can hear a pin drop up in here now, can't you? <laughs> if I had that pen, let me drop this cord I had on my floor. Boy, y'all quit. Watch it. So, 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 so it is in this so it is in this, in, this, in this process of regeneration that God is changing things that we abort the spiritual plan of God. Look at what he told. Look, look here in verse 8. He said, he said, verily I say unto you, look, look uh, Nicodemus said, how can a man be born when he is old in four and enter into the womb a second time uh, and be born? See, 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 he understood church, but he didn't understand the spirit. You see, you see, watch, watch, we're going to watch what it says. It says, and Jesus answered, verily I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. I'm going to come back to that. This is what I want to get to. Watch this. Look in eight. It says, the wind bloweth and listeth and heareth the sound thereof. But canst not tell whence it come or whether it go. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Watch this. Watch this. When the Spirit starts to move, you got to let the wind blow in your life. You see, God comes in by his Spirit, and he starts to move things by the wind. And you won't allow the wind to blow in your life, so you abort your purpose. You won't, allow, you won't allow the spirit to sweep through your life and clean out what needs to be cleaned out. Oh, God. You won't allow, you know, sometimes, you ever been, you know, it's been cold the last couple of days, but I lived in Philadelphia for a while where it really got cold, and sometimes you could go out and the wind could hit you in the face, man, and it would make your, anybody know what I'm talking about from up north? And it would make your whole face cold. You see, and that's the way the spirit wants to come in and shock us into a new place that we really don't want to go to. We stop the wind from blowing in our life. The Holy Spirit is trying to move and we grieve him. He wants to change us. He wants to grow us. He wants to give us new insight. He wants to take us to another place. But we're afraid of going a lot of times. We're comfortable where we at. Watch this. Regeneration comes with the recognition that there is something deeper in the spirit of God. There's more than what we have even...